Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Good morning. morning. Kindly join in the entrance antiphon. It may be found on page 880 of the Missals. Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. other reasons, planning his future perhaps. Unfortunately, we are not able to celebrate the Mass today because we do not have a priest. Let us be united in the spirit of Christ with the church around the world and celebrate our redemption in Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this saying, Namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law, the word of the Lord. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. He dawns through the darkness a light for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious in lens, who conducts his affairs with justice. Blessed to the man who is gracious in lens to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious in lens to those in need. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you, wishing to construct a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? 
Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's meditation comes from the Magnificat. It's a... um, It's a brief piece by a father, Gerald Vann, who was an English Dominican who died in 1963. And he quotes a a French theologian who actually was his contemporary and died in 1973. It's called Calculating the Cost. Jacques Maritain has some wise words on the parables of the man counting his resources before building a tower and the king counting his army before meeting his enemy in the field which means to say, he writes, before setting to work for God and to fight against the devil, first calculate your forces. And if you consider yourself well enough equipped to begin, you are a fool, because the tower to be built costs an outrageous price, and the enemy coming out to meet you is an angel, before whom you are of no account. Get to know yourself so well that you cannot contemplate yourself without flinching. Then there will be room for hope in the sure knowledge that you are obliged to do the impossible and that you can do the impossible in him who strengthens you. Then you are ready for a task which can be performed only through the cross. So, at times, God takes away all props, all help from his children, leaves them apparently bereft, and reduces them apparently to failure and desolation, so that sometimes they seem to have no faith left in him, in themselves, or in anything at all. But it is all done with a purpose, for when, at last, there is nothing left but dry bones, if they turn to him in humility, he can make the dry bones live, and bring success out of failure, and hope and achievement out of despair. When failure comes upon us, when we are tempted to depression or despair, it is of these dry bones that we should think and see whether, in fact, there is some work waiting to be done for God. We should turn to him and beg him to work in us in spite of all our frailties and failures. And so in us, as they do in their greater ways in the saints, failures and frustrations become creative. For the church, that Christ find us eager and ready for him on the day of his coming, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those seeking salvation in wealth and material things, that they find it rather in Jesus Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families, that they put the needs of their children first, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who seek elected office in our democracy, that they serve with humility and integrity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who gather at this table and for all who cannot take part, that they find refreshment and fulfillment in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, Hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith. We ask-
ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Father provides us with food for eternal life. Let us pray for nourishment and strength. Would you pray with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us Let us pray. May the workings of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Mindful of the Lord's word, ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for the harvest, let us pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood. May our prayers hasten the day when we will be able to take part in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist every day. The only announcement is that tomorrow's daily Mass at St. Agnes uh, will be a funeral Mass at 9 o'clock. The service is ended. Go in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you.